Today's Daily Bible Thought and all this week is all about the resurrection. And no, it's not Easter. But you know what? I could do something about the birth of Jesus and it's not Christmas because we, if we believe, celebrate the incarnation, the birth, death, resurrection of Christ every day. And so Easter is every day. Every day is a resurrection day. And knowing that he did die on the cross and that he was buried and that he rose from the dead is the major point of our faith in him. So this is the beginning this week. So this is from Matthew. I'm going to go from each gospel and from 2 Corinthians or Corinthians, which you may not know that one, but this is Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 through 6. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said he would, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. It had to be one of the, it was the most amazing morning ever in history. And just this whole reality. There's so many parts of this to just crack me up. The soldiers fell into a dead faint when they saw the angel. These are Roman guards. These are Roman soldiers, trained soldiers who had gone through so many different battles. How would they ever faint? But yet they fell into a dead faint. They were trembling with fear. And then it's amazing. Okay, so the angel came and there's this earthquake and he, he rolls the stone and then sits upon it. Now, the reality is Jesus was already risen from the dead. He didn't need the stone rolled away to get out. <laughs> he was alive and he went out of the grave before the stone was rolled away. And the reason the stone had to be rolled away wasn't so he could get out. It was so others could get in. Come see the place where he was lying. He's not there anymore. So eyewitness of the counts. This is Matthew. He was a disciple. He knew firsthand. The women were there. They told them. And then the disciples came out to check it out. They still didn't totally believe. They still didn't grasp it. But we can believe. We can know because of their account. So he's not dead. He is alive. He's risen from the dead. So read the Gospels. Find out more. But just celebrate with me this week the whole reality of the resurrection.